So let us see what is Ruby today and what do we mean when we say Ruby on Rails. So what we are going to do is we will introduce Ruby programming language and we will use Ruby to uh, template web pages and also try to learn about Ruby on Rails and what are its features, benefits. So what is Ruby? Ruby is a programming language. It is an object oriented language and it is interpreted. Though these are only three points, but the details explains the power of Ruby. Means Ruby is an object oriented interpreted programming language. So what do we mean when we say it is interpreted? Why it is not compiled or why it cannot be compiled? It is not compiled like Java. The code which is written is directly executed by an interpreter, but not a compiler, but an interpreter. What is interpreter? It compiles or sees and converts line by line, each line into the machine code. So type commands into interpreter and we see the immediate results. These are uh, the representation of Java and Ruby as far as their compilation or interpretation is concerned. In Java, we have a code, then we have a compiler, then we have a runtime environment, JRE, Java runtime environment. And then finally, the computer computes it. The computing resources or computing divides work upon this code. While in Ruby, the code is interpreted and directly consumed by the computer. Then what is this ROR, Ruby on Rails, why it is so famous, why people are actually talking about it so much? Because this is a development framework for web application written in Ruby. And since everything is either on web or are being transformed to the web, therefore ROR becomes important. And you see, Various uh, sites which you are aware, they use ROR. So what are the advantages of this ROR? Means Ruby on Rails. The standard features and the functionality which uh, generally are required by user or the developer, they are built in. And you also have a predictable application organization means the way you generally see things in your life or day-to-day -day life it is uh, made such that it is predictable and hence easier to maintain and easier to get things going there are ways of installation of ruby if you are a windows user or a mac linux uh, user for windows just go to the download at rubylang.org just go to uh, scroll down and try to find ruby on windows one click installer is there just follow simple instruction and you have to include ruby gems uh, because this uh, this will be required for uh, rails uh, installation later that, that is why we have ruby and then ruby on rails and as far as this mac and linux are concerned you know, if Mac Linux, you, you are talking about ROR may be there, right? Uh, if somewhat or you will not find it, then this is the link where you have to go. This is a simple file, you can say, or a program in Ruby. This .rb, this shows that you are talking about a file which is a ruby file dot rb means a ruby and put as simple line for displaying hello world put as see uh, guys or uh, people who are, have known this c and c plus uh, plus are aware of this put as function they have used this for putting a string so what is put as versus this print so put as add a new line after it is done putting a string 
This is actually analogous to SOP of Java system out dot printer. While print does not add a new line, which is just you know removing ln from system out dot print ln that is system dot out dot print. How to run Ruby programs? You can use Ruby interpreter that is Ruby hello world dot rb. Just you have to type Ruby and the file name and Ruby indicates or tells the computer to use the Ruby interpreter. And you also have an interactive Ruby IRB as you said. Uh, you have IRB console. You can easily get immediate uh, feedback and you can test Ruby features using this IRB. What about comments in your Ruby? This is a single line comment. Hash is a single line comment. And if you want a multi line, then you start with a is equal to sign or assignment sign rather and end with the assignment sign. So this is the starting one, this is the ending one. About declarations of Ruby, there is no requirement, no need to declare a type. An assignment is just similar to Java. So those people who are new to Groovy and Ruby, they if they are aware of Java, then this is a linear learning or zero linear learning curve. If you are aware of Java, there will be no problem to you. So assignment is similar to Java. Let us take an example. For this is uh, x is equal to double quotes hello world that x already become uh, treated as a string. And this is a fixed number or in uh, other languages you can you can indicate or term it as an integer or or say long. Here it may be a float or a double, but here in a particular case in specifically Ruby, this is float and this is a range from one dot dot to ten. Again. What about objects? Now we are in the era of object oriented programming and much more addition to that. So everything has to be an object. Everything is an object in Ruby. What are the common types? That means if you have an object, you have to have a class. So you have a numbers, strings, ranges. These are the classes of, on which these objects are being made. Then you have nil, that is Ruby is equivalent to null. This also an object, so nil is also an object. We use dot notations like Java objects. For example, you can find a class of any variable x is equal to hello x dot class, and you can call this string. And you can also find the methods of any variable or class using x is, is equal to some you know string hello say. In this case, x dot methods then string dot methods. So you find numerous methods for any variable or class. There are many methods that that all objects have. For example, you include this question mark to the method names like this, like this. Uh, it is a Ruby naming convention of Boolean methods. Okay. You use or you place a question mark in the method names and this is how Ruby knows that this is a Boolean method. See, this is question mark. Numbers are also objects. I, as I said, everything is an object, so number has to be an object. And you have different classes of numbers like fixed number, float, etc. Uh, this is see, you can use a function like this, a boolean fu uh, function. I said question mark. Then you can just call some minus forty two dot absolute, and the result will be forty two. You want to round 3.4, it will be just 3. 3.6 dot round, then uh, this is round, this is round, so it will go to 4, it will go to 3. Ceiling you want to find, ceiling is the upper limit, upper integer limit 4. Floor is again the lower uh, integer limit that is 3 and 3 dot 0. If this is true, 3 is not 0, so it is false. Then you have string methods, just use string dot length, call dot length, you'll get the length, 
you call you just say dot nil it will be something you know because hello world contains something so it will not be uh, you know it not be true it will be false uh, then this this is nil so dot nil will be will be this has to be true actually and ryan greater than kelly is it that yes of course because uh, this this in a chronological or alphabetical way it is true so hope you um, can understand this simple multiplication by 3 it goes to 3 then you can just add using plus and you can just use dot index where is w you can see it is uh, at the 6th position 1 2 3 4 5 and 6th position actually it starts with 0 and that is why it goes to 6 we compute this space also then operators and logic this is similar to Java, like multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, etc. And also, which is it is same as Java and Python, right? It is same as Java and Python, and and or as well as and and or both both can be used. And strange things happen with strings like string concatenation and multiplication. You also have a case and a point. Means there are many uh, ways to solve a, a single problem in Ruby. Then you have if, else if, else and end. So, you know, you must use else if instead of else if. No space. Please, no space. You have to use else if. No E. Notice this use of end. What is this? It replaces closing curly braces in Java. How? If age is as in, say, 30, put as this one. Else if only E L S I F no E, then you put a end here, right? It it uh, shows or it indicates your uh, or directs your interpreter that okay this has been uh, this has come to end and end. Then you have inline if statements, original if statement like if age is less than one fifth one zero five, put something and end. You have inline if statement what does it mean this was the customary we, we know about this or we have used a similar construct in our programming languages but this in this inline if statement you just put as you say something and then if age is less than 150 so this is in just one line this is called inline you have also for loops uh, you can use ranges in that for i in 1 to 10 that is for i equal to 0, i less than 10, i plus plus, you don't have to do that. For i in 1 to 10, you just, you know, come, just write some, some statements. And you can also use blocks. We'll see, uh, you know, maybe later in the, in the next week. And uh, if you want 3 dot times to put Ryan, you can call it and can you can use blocks inside. And you may need a more advanced range for your for loops because we have ranges here and bounds of a range can be expression for example for i in i 2 to uh, to the power 5 or 2 into 5 put s. This also you can do. You can also use while loops and this while loops can also use blocks. We will see it later. And this cannot use i plus plus c. You cannot use i plus plus in while loops. You start with i equal to zero, i less than five or something. Then you you know execute your expressions, and i is equal to i plus one. And you also have unless. This is the logical opposite of if, right? If you are, you are using if, the opposite is unless. So for example, you have unless ag age is something you know greater than or equal to one zero five. And if you are using with uh, if, if then this is a comment actually. So what you are trying to do is if age is less than 105, here you are using greater than or equal to 105. So unless and if are logical opposite. Then you also have until. So this until is the logical opposite of why. Unless opposite of if, until opposite of 5. Okay, we can you can uh, specify a condition to have the loop stop like you don't want to continue it so what you can do is 
I go to zero until I is uh, you know some with greater than some value. That is you want or this is while I is not greater but it is less than five. So this these are opposites. The parentheses are really not required. You just put as something and you increase increment the value. I plus plus is not valid here. What about methods? The structure of method will be def. Def you know this is uh, for making the it is type independent like a like just like templates we used in C++. So just uh, write df. This is the return type. You have a method name and then you have a parameters inside. And these are various statements. You end with n. For example, the def. This is a function name. You do something and you place n. Then parameters. You you are not required to give any uh, you know class type required. You just name them because uh, this is the power of present uh, programming languages. Just def cumulative sum num one num two. It just computes the value, return it, and end. And if you want to call the method, just print the result put s. Inside this, you call cumulative sum and pass two values. Everything will be done for you. Ruby methods returns the value of of the last statement in the method, just like Ruby. So what you do, uh, whatever you do inside your function, the last statement will always be a return statement. So you you can really ignore this return sum, and you you are not supposed to write sum is equal to also because num one plus num two. We always be says we some sum and this will be return. Then what about user input? You can obtain user input from get s. For example, name. You just write this get s name, and you sub just place hello name, whatever comes in on this name. So you can use this C H O M P to get rid of the extra line. How? Put hello and then name whatever name is there dot. Chomp, you can get rid of uh, the extra line that may be there, and it also removes trailing new lines. Now changing types, you may want to treat a string a uh, number or a number as a string. This is quite obvious when you are programming, so you would really want to treat a number as a string and vice versa. For that, you use two underscore i. You can convert. To an integer, convert to a float, convert a number to a string, like 3.5 and 2i that becomes an integer from a string, and all these examples. Then in constants, in Ruby, constant begins always with an uppercase, right? They should be assigned a value at most one because they are constant. And this is why local variable always begins with a lower case because upper case is reserved for your constants. For example, w this is constant, width is five. You define some function, do something with the function. So these uh, were some you know introduction to Ruby and Ruby on Rails and some programming aspects and features which are available on Ruby. So we'll be. Talking about this more. Till then, thank you so much. Take care.